Hello everyone, welcome to Learn and Innovate, your learning and research support channel. In this video, we're going to learn on how to install Windows Server 2022. Let us start with defining what is Windows Server 2022. Windows Server 2022 is based on Windows Server 2019 and was announced in 2021 with a 10-year support cycle. It's designed for small to medium-sized businesses and offers increased stability and performance. Windows Server 2022 is the 10th and the latest major long-term servicing channel release of the Windows Server operating system by Microsoft as part of the Windows NT family of operating systems. It was announced at Microsoft Ignite event from March 2, 2021 to March 4, 2021. The new features introduced in Windows Server 2022 includes First, AMD CPUs now support nested virtualization. Second, as the default web browser, Microsoft Edge is bundled with the system. Third, improved security features to increase protection against all sorts of attacks such as malware, privacy, and network attacks. Fourth, enhancements to UDP TCP performance. And fifth, hybrid capabilities in Azure. Before we proceed with how to install the Windows Server 2022, let us first know what are its hardware requirements. The server hardware must have at least 1.4 GHz 64-bit processor compatible with x64 instruction set. The memory must be at least 512 MB for server core and 2 gigs for server with desktop experience installation option. There should also be at least 32 gigs of disk space. For the network requirements, the server hardware must have an Ethernet adapter capable of at least 1 gigabit per second throughput and compliant with the PCI Express architecture specification. Additional requirements include UEFI 2.3.1c based system and firmware that supports secure boot, trusted platform module, and graphics device and monitor capable of Super VGA with 1024 by 768 or higher resolution. When you want to install Windows Server 2022, you have to choose an edition and an installation option. You can choose the installation option that best serve your needs. In many cases, the standard edition server core is the recommended installation option. Server core is a smaller installation that includes the core components of Windows Server and supports all server roles. However, it doesn't include a local graphical user interface or GUI. It's mostly used for remotely managed deployments, usually through PowerShell, Windows Admin Center, or other server management tools. On the other hand, if you want a complete installation including a full GUI, the Data Center Edition Server with Desktop Experience will be your option. This option has a larger footprint than Server Core, it is the most preferred option by organizations, and it is the most complete edition and includes the new Data Center specific features including shielded virtual machines, storage spaces direct, and software-defined networking in addition to unlimited server virtualization. So how do we install Windows Server 2022? To install the Windows Server 2022, just follow the following steps. Step 1. Download the Windows Server 2022 ISO this file is an ISO that contains the identical content of an optical disk. This file will allow you to create a boot media and then install your new server operating system. 
To get the Windows Server 2022 ISO image, you first need to sign up at Microsoft's official Windows Insider page. Just click on Windows Server 2022 and then select Download the ISO from the available options and then click on Continue. You'll be required to fill in your information to be eligible for downloading the Windows Server 2022 ISO image. Make sure to enter your information accurately as verification may be required later. When done, click Continue. Choose the language you want to use when installing Windows Server 2022. You can currently choose from 8 different languages including English, Spanish, and Japanese. Once selected, click on the Download button. The download may take up to a couple of hours to complete. Ensure you don't disconnect your computer from power or the internet while the process is happening or else it may be lost. Step 2. Make the bootable ISO image for Windows Server 2022. After successfully downloading the Windows Server 2022 ISO file, it's time to prepare your boot environment. You can do so by simply following this process. First, insert a USB flash drive into a running computer. Open a command prompt window as an administrator and type this part. In the new command line window that opens, to determine the USB flash drive number or drive letter, at the command prompt, type list disk and then click enter. The list disk command displays all the disks on the computer. Note the drive number or drive letter of the USB flash drive. At the command prompt, type select disk X where X is the drive number or drive letter of the USB flash drive, and then click Enter. Type Clean, and then click Enter. This command deletes all the data from the USB flash drive. To create a new primary partition on the USB flash drive, type Create Partition Primary, and then click Enter. To select the partition that you just created, type Select Partition 1, and then click Enter. To format the partition, type format fs equals ntfs quick and then click enter. Then type active and then click enter. Type exit and then click enter. And when you finish preparing your custom image, save it to the root of the USB flash drive. Step 3. Installing Windows Server 2022 As what we have mentioned earlier, you can choose between the standard edition, that is the server core installation option, and the data center edition, which is the server with desktop experience installation option. Let us first know how to install the standard edition or the server core option. You can begin by following these steps, power on your physical or virtual machine using the boot media you just created. You'll be asked to press any key when it asks for an input which is used as a launching point for installing Microsoft's newest server operating system. Next, you'll need to select a language of your choice as well as keyboard layout preference and your time and currency settings. Click Next in the window that pops up and let's get started. Click on the Install Now button to initiate the installation process for Windows Server 2022. This will begin the installation of the Server Core Edition of Microsoft's Server Platform. In this next window, choose the Windows Server 2022 Server option that you want to install with Server Core that gives you access and use for some of Microsoft's powerful command line tools. Click Next to proceed. Next, you need to read the license terms and agree to them 
for the installation process to continue by checking the I accept or license agreement box. In this next window, you have to choose what type of installation do you want. When installing, select Custom Install Windows Server Operating System only if you're installing the OS on a fresh server. Otherwise, if upgrading from a previous version of Windows Server, choose the Upgrade Install Windows Server Operating System and Keep Files, Settings, and Applications option. Then, select a partition to install Windows Server onto. You can optionally create a new partition or use the entire drive size. When done selecting the designated OS partition, proceed by clicking Next. The installer will then begin installing the necessary system files. You'll see when it's completed and the system reboots automatically. After a successful installation, the system should immediately reboot and prompt you for an administrator password. Enter this information before re-entering it once again to verify it and then continue. Next, you'll be taken directly into Microsoft's PowerShell interface where you can begin managing your newly installed Windows Server 2022 OS via the Server Core interface. If you wanted to install the Data Center Edition Server with Desktop Experience installation option, follow the same instructions as the Server Core installation until your system restarts after installing the operating system. Also, make sure to select Desktop Experience when choosing your Windows Server 2022 version. After your system restarts, you'll be greeted with a graphical interface. You'll be prompted to create an administrator password before you can proceed. Click Finish when you are done. The login screen will appear when you press Ctrl Alt Delete. Enter the password set in the previous step to continue accessing your server. You should see the server manager launch by default, just like what is shown on the figure. You can begin configuring your server here or explore more options in the control panel accessible in the same way as it is on regular Windows operating system. Step 4. Configure your network on Windows Server 2022. We just learned on how to install Windows Server 2022, but now it's time for configuration. The first things that need configuring on your network are the IPs and gateway addresses so that system admins can manage the server remotely and reach other parts of their environments including internet-based services. If you have installed Windows Server 2022 with a Server Core installation, follow these steps. To configure the network for Windows Server 2022, run the following command in the command prompt area, S config. You will see a menu open on the screen. Choose option 8 for network settings and you will be taken to your network configuration page where all of these adjustments are made for both wired and wireless networks. To begin configuration, you need to select which IP to configure first. In this example case, we'll choose one since our server has only one network connection. Normally, you might see multiple options here, so you must select the one that you want to work with first. Once you have selected your IP for configuration, you can begin customizing your settings. The computer's network settings will be automatically updated. The process should take no more than 5 minutes to complete. If you have installed Windows Server 2022 with a desktop experience, follow these steps to configure your network. First. Open the search interface in your taskbar by clicking on the magnifying glass icon. You can also bring it up with the Windows plus S keyboard shortcut. 
Type in words control panel and click on the first matching search result. When it opens, navigate to network and internet and go to network connections. Right click on the network that you want to configure. We only have one network connection to the server computer in our example. However, you may see many possible options. Pick whichever you want to configure and choose properties from the context menu. Now you can begin configuring the network connection using the GUI as shown on the figure which resembles that of Windows 10. So how do we install Windows Server 2022 updates? Just follow the following steps. Click Start and go to Settings. Select Update and Security. Click Check for Updates. Now, you should see the latest updates available for your Server 2022. Finally, click Install now to begin the installation of updates. Thank you for watching and watch out for our next learning and research support videos. Please support this channel by hitting the like and subscribe buttons.